Let's just say when we reported the issue you just saw, we were moved to a different room right away. Nice. All right, we are off to check out room number two here at the Golden Nugget. We are staying here at the Golden Nugget in downtown Las Vegas, a place that we have been looking forward to checking out for quite some time. And we're staying in the Rush Tower here, which is one of their new towers. Yeah, one of their, actually their newest tower, not super new, but it is their newest tower. And we're so excited. Obviously, Golden Nugget is an iconic hotel and casino here on Fremont Street. Yes, now there's a lot to check out. They have great restaurants, including a really good pool yes. with a shark tank and a slide that goes in between. So it looks pretty busy here. So we're hoping we're gonna be able to check that out for sure. But without further ado, let's get into this room tour. You ready to rock? I'm ready. Let's rock! <laughs> Welcome to our room here at the Golden Nugget. It is a very basic room. It's clean. It's dark in hue and color, so it definitely has that dated feel still, even though this is one of their new rooms, but let's just let you guys take a look. Starting with the bathroom. So, Dave, what'd you think of that bathroom? Well, I'm liking the tub. Yeah. And I really like those dual vanities. I definitely like the dual vanities in that tub. It definitely feels a little on the dated side, but it's clean and it works. So it is kind of interesting too that they have here, which is sort of like a huge desk meets vanity, meets drawers, meets safe. Um, a lot of good things going on over here to make it that much more compact and user friendly. Looks like somebody found a comfortable spot over here. Yeah, this is good. It's massive sofa. Very nice. Super comfortable. Yeah. Look at you with the couch <laughs> and a chase and a footrest. Ah. All right. No room tour is complete without finally checking how comfortable this bed is. And the only way for us to determine its true comfortability is what, Dave? Well, that's the bed test, of course. That's right, y'all. It's time. For the bed test. <laughs> Woo, okay. That bed is comfortable. And look. So far, and we were just getting started, we were impressed by the Golden Nugget. Now it did feel more like a hotel casino on the Las Vegas Strip, the decor, the ambiance, and the patrons. Now after several attempts of the bed test, we built up quite an appetite, and we were looking forward to dinner. All right, welcome to Pick and Anthony's here at the Golden Nugget. And we actually, we're doing what we tend to do, we're sharing a Caesar salad to kick things off. It's $14, and then we're actually gonna share, I'm gonna pull this up here, it's A5 Japanese Wagyu filet mignon, six ounces from the Kagoshima Prefecture for $110. We're also gonna get, of course, lobster tails. We're each gonna have our own. So Maybe excited. lobster tails, five ounces, $39 each. Yummy. Uh, it's gonna be good, and then we'll see about dessert. Now, the last time we tried the A5 Wagyu um, was at the Gordon Ramsay Steak, and that was quite an experience, right, Dave? It was unbelievable. It was unreal. Yeah. So we're and looking. And that was A5 Japanese Wagyu, and maybe Kobe. And Kobe. As well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was so good. looking to kind of recapture a little bit of that magic, and I am looking forward to this evening here with my hubby. I'd never been to Vic and Anthony, so super cool spot here down at the uh, Golden Nugget. And we're kicking it off with a little bit of these, you guys. Oh, yeah. Delicious old fashioned, old fashioned. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Knob, Creek. Knob Creek rye with uh, some uh, brown butter bitters and an orange rye. Delicious! And this is bread, everybody. <laughs> Yum, 
Yum, yum, give me some. Yum, yum, give me some. <laughs> So really quick, you guys, we're going to talk about the service while we're waiting for our food here. Now, we weren't sure what to expect regarding Vic and Anthony's initially because it's more of a corporate type steakhouse versus a mom and pop or smaller family owned. And I will tell you, the service here has been dynamite. Our server is extremely knowledgeable of the food, um, of each dish, and I think, you know, that to me makes the experience and the food taste even better when you have someone as knowledgeable and as friendly as our staff. So cheers to the staff. Boy, first up, this Canadian lobster tail, of course, with the extra butter sauce. Get Gotta give this a it. shot, Dave. Yeah. I'm excited. Now that's the lobster tail. We're used to. It's got like a sweet flavor to it. Um, it's nice and warm with the warm butter. It just takes it to the next level. It's a very good lobster tail. It's tiny. But it's mighty. Canadian lobster. Yeah, all the way, baby. I'm looking forward to see what you think about it. All right, this is a nice piece. I'm going to dip it in some butter. Always dip it in the butter. Oh, yeah. Never too much. Mmm. Right? It's spot mm. on. The sweetness. Oh, that is so good. Very nice sweetness to it. Great lobster flavor. Oh, welcome to the main event, everybody. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Dave, I'm going to let you have the honor of trying that first. All right, A5 Japanese, A5 Wagyu. Japanese Wagyu. Go for it. Ready, here we go. Oh, <laughs> look at that face. Kind of says it all right there. It just melts away in your mouth. It's so good. Mm. You're going to love it, babe. Yum, yum. It's back some memories. That's good. Yep, Dave was right. I absolutely enjoyed it as well. Overall, great night here at Vic and Anthony's. The food and our server were fantastic. And a big thank you to the anonymous guests that took care of our old fashions for us. Thank you very much. Now, with full bellies, it's time to freshen up and burn off some energy. Well, that was really good. Mm hmm it was. Right. Babe, you know what time it is? It's time for some slots. Guys, so time for some slots. All right, we're on Monopoly Millionaire, mm. and we're gonna do ten pulls on this one. That two fifty a pull. I like that. See how we do. I like that. Ten fifty, two fifty four, and look at that, guys. Jackpot, free parking. Right. Half a go. million. All right, Dave. Ready to go? I'm ready to rock. Here we go. Let's start it. Number one. Come on, over it. Come on. 
Number six. Okay, come on. Number seven. Number seven. Come on, let's do it. Number eight. Oh, come on. Come on, give us something. Give us something. Give us something. Give us something. Nugget pool here, nice, little on the warm side, a little under five feet deep, but it's super cool because there's a giant aquarium right in the middle of the pool area. Now this gives you meaning to swimming with the fishes. <laughs> and not only that, there's a slide that you can slide, like a water slide, go right through the aquarium. So it's pretty cool. And, and that sound, do you hear the sound? They have not one, but two waterfalls! So right at 10 o'clock, you guys, they kind of bring out these menus for you, and you can actually place orders for cocktails as well as food. So you can have food right out of here poolside. Now, even though it's not a large pool area, we really enjoyed the pool at Golden Nugget. The servers were very attentive, and it was overall a cool vibe. Now one suggestion would be to get there early. The pool opens at 9 a.m. This way you are more than likely able to pick a great spot to enjoy a few hours at the pool. The downtown Las Vegas Fremont Street area certainly has some incredible energy and they've definitely been transforming itself into the fun happening place to be. It's always a good time when we're there and it's very cool that Golden Nugget is where all the action is. Wow, okay, so I will say overall, our stay here at the Golden Nugget was pretty cool. Our room, yes, a little on the dated side, we're staying in one of the newer towers here, which is the Rush Tower, but the vibe overall here at the Golden Nugget felt like, I don't know, it felt like a lot of the crowd from the Strip stay here. <laughs> yes, I think that's true, and it is owned by a corporation. It feels a little bit more corporate than some of the other downtown hotels that we've stayed at, but overall, a very good. Now, the pool area is great. Now, just be forewarned, if you're coming on a weekend and have a car, that parking garage can get filled up. Oh, yes. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. You might have to do a couple of loops, but yeah. you may eventually find a spot or not. But hey, overall, this day was great. Take a second if you haven't done so. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get up every time we post something new and exciting. Thanks for joining us, World Travelers, and we look forward to seeing y'all in, in Las Vegas. Vegas. And maybe at the Golden Nugget. <laughs> Well, that was really good. It was. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Look how huge that couch is. This is huge.